Australia's swim team won seven gold medals at the Paris Olympics, which was our third best haul. Swimming Australia is hoping to top the table at the next Games in Los Angeles, and to do that, they're using technology and artificial intelligence to make their athletes faster. I spoke to Jess Carones from Swimming Australia. Yeah, the team's um, performance in Paris was extraordinary um, to get that close to um, obviously toppling the US, who have never been beaten at an Olympic Games on the gold medal tally. That's obviously the aim. Um, and to get that close um, is really exciting, I think, for what the future holds, to be honest. We've got so much talent in the team, um, great swimmers, um, world-leading coaches and performance staff. So I think it's a sign that the future is really bright for Swimming Australia. Yes, yeah, so how do you kind of harness that talent and get them to be performing at their best day in, day out over a you know, four-year lead-up to the next Olympics almost? Yeah, it's actually um, an exciting prospect that this time we have four years because obviously leading into Paris, we only had a three-year preparation with the Tokyo Olympics being delayed by a year. So um, we've got a bit more breathing space to get ready for LA. Um, but all the hard work is really done in the training pools um, day in, day out, as you said, um, with the coaches and the athletes and the, the really big um, performance teams that they have around them these days. Um, and we're enhancing those programs with the use of technology um, now, trying to uplift those to support the coaches and performance teams that are working with the athletes um, so that we're not sort of missing anything when we're planning and designing um, their performance programs, making sure that we're maximising all those one percenters for the athletes um, so that they've got the best shot um, and the best opportunity on the day um, to perform when it matters. Yeah, how much data and information is there available for you guys to use and crunch the numbers to really analyse the team and, you know, give them tips for swimming faster? Yeah, there's a, a huge amount of data um, and, to be honest, it's growing exponentially um, every year. Um, obviously, our richest data source comes out of the racing pool. Um, our, we use a race analysis system called Sparta 2, which was custom built um, with the help of La Trobe University, the Australian Institute of Sport um, and AWS, um, and that's using machine learning. And what that's enabled us to do is not just track Australian swimmers but to track the international swimmers as well. Um, and then now we're looking more into the training pool and um, I often say to people, I want swimming to be the Formula One of Olympic sport and um, those training pools are like the car garages for those F1 cars where the swimmers are going to come and work with their coaches and their performance teams and sports scientists around really refining um, and honing those racing skills um, and preparing for competition. And what the data enables us to do is really look deeper into the performance um, allows us to set benchmarks and targets um, and track and monitor progress throughout the training program. Um, but being able to uplift the technology in the training pool then allows us to have comparative data to what the data that we're getting out of the out of the competition pool, sorry, um, which, as I said, just allows the coaches and performance um, staff to have, I guess, support in when they're made making decisions and try and give them some objective measures. Um, and what we want to do is create um, data-driven um, decisions that are augmented with this data and allow that opportunity to happen with the coaches, um, sports scientists and the athletes as well. So is it things like helping correct very minor issues with someone's stroke or something like that? Yeah, I, it's honestly, it's quite a holistic approach. Um, so, yeah, absolutely, there's technical, um, there's data that supports technical change um, for each individual athlete. Um, physiologically, how they, sh um, it guides us in how they should be training, whether it be aerobically, anaerobically, um, their strength training. Obviously, there's a lot of data that comes out of the gym from their dry land training as well. Um, and then things like nutrition, psychology, um, all of those facets, the medical teams. Um, so the data is really holistic and I think it's really important that we have a holistic data set um, so we're not just focusing on one area and we're helping the athlete um, be a really well-rounded um, athlete when they jump in the pool um, and that we're not sort of missing any aspect of um, performance because all of these things will contribute to an athlete's performance and one data set or one area of 
um, performance can have an impact on another. So it's an important thing that we have a look at all of the information um, that contributes to an athlete's performance. Yeah, and athletes, I guess, that can harness that data and, you know, improve themselves obviously can be really good in the pool. I mean, what was Emma McKeon like, who's just announced her retirement this week? What was it like working <laughs> with her and training with data and, uh, you know, correcting her stroke or whatever it might have been to be the best athlete we've ever seen in the pool? Yeah, I was very fortunate um, to work with Emma for 14 years for her entire um, professional swimming career um, and right through her development. And it's been a really fantastic journey that we've had together. Um, and the data and technology has really developed um, over the 15 years that we've worked together. So when we first started out, it was quite different to how we've been working probably in the last four years with her coach, Michael Boll, and the other performance support staff that are around her um, but Emma, definitely one of the most amazing athletes this country has ever seen. And she had a really curious mindset and always wanted to know why we were doing something, which I think is a fantastic, um, I guess, character of Emma to want to understand why, um, want to understand how she was going to get better every single day. And the data and information that we could provide her um, gave her some understanding of why we were doing certain things in training and how they were going to help her um, get better and she was very astute in understanding that information um, and absorbing it in training and then being able to apply that data to her training to make herself better um, year on year which was just an amazing privilege to be able to be there poolside with her um, every day and at every competition um, and support her through that. Fantastic. Look, Jess Carones from Swing Australia, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.